Look at him. Lord have mercy. Hey, good morning, family. It's Patrell on a mission here, and I'm on a mission to live my best life in the motherland. And today, oh Lord, <laughs> the lamb, the lamb is running down the street. <laughs> See the kitties going to school. Say hey. So you guys, today we are headed to a temple in Dendra. Um, it is located north and slightly east of Luxor. It was a really good ride um, through the countryside along the mountains, and it took about a couple of hours to get there. Greek Roman. Greek Roman, okay. You know the story of the Greek Roman, okay? A little bit. Well, a little bit more. <laughs> uh, how, how the Greeks come to Egypt and uh, when? The uh, Greeks come to Egypt uh, about 300 BC. 300 BC. Yeah. Okay. Um, by um, uh, Alexander the Great. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Alexander came from a place called Mes Macedonia. Right. 332 BC. Yeah. Conquered Egypt, changed the capital to Alexandria. Mm. Alexander. Alexander. Okay. Named I get, after him. I get it. Okay. That, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a king's name Ptolemy. Ptolemy. Okay, I've seen that. The P T O L. Okay, I've seen his name on everything. Okay. Ptolemy was the king of Egypt. Big family. Uh, we have a number for um, Ptolemy, not one, almost 12 Ptolemy. Oh my gosh. And then the last king of, from this family was a woman. Hmm. So, Queen. Queen. Cleopatra? Exactly. <laughs> okay. So, by the way, the only picture left for Cleopatra in Egypt now mm -hmm. in Dendera. So Dendera is dedicated to Hathor, the cow goddess. Okay. So if you want to see the famous Cleopatra, then you have to come to Dendera. <laughs> Like you know, if the sun god or yeah. the falcon god or the cow god is in all Egyptian, and then the hieroglyphic inside Egyptian. Okay. So except the king, you know. Okay. So look at the columns, you see. So yeah, you can tell Roman. that those are Roman. Yeah. Yeah. yeah look at the Roman on the right and the people, you see. Yeah, you because see? they put the you know the Corinthian. That looks like the Corinthian columns. Yes. Yeah. See beautiful, you know, with flowers and plants. Mm -hmm. and, so this is you know Roman columns. You know? So, for instance, you know, you see the, the, the king uh, on the right, yeah. on the left. Yes. And then this is, you know, the cow goddess. Okay. And then who is behind her? Her husband. Hmm. And then the husband's name? Behind the cow goddess? I'm no. looking at him. He, it looked like it could be Horus because Horus. it's a falcon. Exactly. Okay. So, this is Horus, her husband. Okay. And then where is her husband lives? Uh, Edfu. Edfu. Have you been to Edfu? Never been to Edfu. Oh. So uh, there's a big place uh, dedicated to the husband in Edfu. Okay. So um, she lives here in Dendera, he lives in Edfu. Oh, wow. But <laughs> sometimes they meet like once a year in between. So she traveled by boat from here to Edfu, and then he traveled from Edfu to Dendera, and then they meet like halfway. Oh, wow. Okay. So the cow goddess was married from, from Horus. Okay. Hathor and Horus. The reliefs still look good. But look how big the gate. Yeah, that, that is a big gate. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what kind of door would they have? None. Like they had some uh, sphinxes, but the heads are cut off, so you don't know. 
because they were so animals. Yeah. If they were human. Yeah, or if they were human heads, you can't tell. Except they get all this stuff laid out. So this is kind of recent, you know? Yeah. But the famous statue is one. The one on the left. Okay. So this is stuff they found, they just have to figure out where it goes. Yeah, it's like what like we call it in the open, open air museum. Okay. That looks like. Um, Okay, yeah, it's that's what I say. That's how they're. Cause, that's cause, the same picture you see in um, Queen of Ships. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's yeah. right. You know, so this is how they, you know. Sometimes you see a um, hair in the form of a cow, mm -hmm. or sometimes in a human. Okay. But you know, if it's a human, she keeps something from the cow. The ears. The ears. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is an open air museum, guys. The things that they just found recently. Yeah, famous one. Famous one. Okay. Oh wow. A funny one. His name is Bess. Yeah, he's the god of happiness and joy. Okay, happiness and joy. Yes. That's a good guy to be. Uh. Exactly. And then you know he and then he look after you know pregnancy to women. Mm. So when, once the woman they are pregnant, you know so he is the one who take care of them. Okay. Until they deliver their babies. Okay. So his name is Bess. Bess. Got it. Wow. And look at these, these are a bunch of little sphinxes. Yeah. It looks like they were little yeah, sphinxes. The is missing here. Mm -hmm. like, it looks like little goats, you know. Maybe <laughs> goats or... Yeah. Wow. They're dropping crappies, you know. Mm -hmm. like all the oh, the feet. Crappies. Oh, yeah. Huh. And then they have... And then the top of the back there. Very neat. Nice and neat. Ooh, I can see the colors from here. Inside we have the best loot. You know who's loot? Yes. Sky goddess. Yes. So the best loot in Egypt is in here. The best one. Yes. So that's how we know this is her temple. Wow. I hear a lot of people in there. It's a bus outside. <laughs>